it's hey, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two. Had a little hesitation, forgot where I was. But we've got these vents in his uh, face mask that to me don't look very good. They're not, oh, they're okay, but they've got a lot of nodes. And if you tried to clean this up, I mean, look at me extra nodes, you're gonna really get off base. So what I would do is set, now we're gonna set our nudge factor on 2.5 inches. We're gonna nudge that one out of the way. We're gonna nudge this one out of the way just for size. Now, I'm gonna clean this one up because this is the one we're gonna use. I think it looks pretty cool. And we're gonna get rid of some nodes I know we don't need. You know, and truly that doesn't look bad right there. That kind of looks like a vent to me. Now, let's, there are several ways to do this. Let's control D and make a duplicate of that guy and put it about where the top of the mask should be. Let's get rid of that one. Now, you could blend this, but they're all gonna be about the same size. So what I have really think is the neatest thing to do is control D and make a duplicate of that guy and just move it up and then change it to 95% of its size. Control D. And what it's doing is making the next one 90. Control D, Control D, Control D. I think that looks a lot better. I think there were seven on the other one. We've only got six. So let's Control D and just move that guy up. It should have gone one more. And let's make it 70% of its size. Now, if you kind of look, they're not perfectly spaced out because they pro progressively got smaller. So let's do this. Let's just kind of rotate them where they're like that and open up the line and distribute docker. Select all these guys and let's align them from the center. Eh. Let's align them from the, well, it, that's about as good as you're gonna get. Now we can put that right back because we're at 330 degrees. We just need to put it to zero where we started. Now remember we set our nudge factor on two and a half. Whoop. And because our nudge factor is still two and a, sorry about that. Our nudge factor is still two and a half. I can nudge this back and we're a little bit big. So let's just scrunch it down a little bit. Maybe even uh, change your nudge factor to 0 0.002, let's say. Grab all that and let's just kind of move them around a little bit. It's your, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like the, the original. I think that looks a lot better. Now, remember our line is still here? Hit P and let's delete. We could have done all that at one time, but I wanted to prove a point. Control D and make a duplicate. And remember how many nodes we had earlier? Now we should do the same thing with, with uh, join curves. And you have to hold down the shift key to select them both so we can join them. It looks like those are only just one node. And I've got an extra node there for some reason. And I've still got nodes in the middle. Well, that's from our joining them. So I need to back up here and shift select both sides of it and apply. That node just I think I messed it up. There we go. I moved it over. Now it's just one node and I can delete it. We don't need a node between two lines. And for some reason I've got nodes over here I shouldn't have. No, they're there. So it's all equal. Now, hope this isn't too confusing. Go to object and combine, combine. Take our shape tool and select it. Now we only have 211. I did a little better this morning and I got 153. And if you're a laser engraver, that'll work. But look how crisp and clear our vent holes are. 
And I mean, there's still some nodes that we could take out. Every node you take out, I didn't join these, so it just takes them apart. But if you select one side of the line, hold down the shifts like the other side of the line, join them. Then you could take that node out. Apply. Take that node out. Every node that you could, we could have taken these out. That's what I didn't do. I didn't take out these nodes earlier when we moved it around. Like there's a node in the middle. You don't need it. You know, here's two more that we can join. And then we can see if we can not delete those. Didn't really change. And I would, if I was going to do this, I've already messed it up. But I would um, cut in half again and do it again. You know, until you're happy with the amount of nodes. Now, as a laser engraver, I said, uh, nodes don't really affect you. But if you're trying to cut this out with a plasma, it will eat your lunch. I'm getting a lot less nodes already. We'll see how many we got. And you can always kind of bring that back in if you want. You got to remember it's your drawing. You know, it doesn't have to be just like the model. It can change a little bit. And we'll keep that one. But remember, now we have 189 nodes. If we did the same thing to the other side, those would be gone. And there's probably a node right here we didn't join. And then we could take that away and just watch to make sure it doesn't change the shape. It did, but if this one changes the same amount, and you can always bring that back up. Because when you're working only on half the drawing, it's going to really help you. Anyway, I hope that it helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.